a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Everton FC Everton Football Club is a football club in Liverpool, England, that competes in the Premier League, the top flight of English football. The club have competed in the top division for a record 114 seasons, missing the top division only four times since the Football League was created in 1888. Everton have won 15 major trophies, the league championship nine times, the FA Cup five times, and the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup once. Formed in 1878, Everton were founding members of the Football League in 1888, and won their first league championship two seasons later. Following four league championship and two FA Cup wins, Everton experienced a lull in the immediate post-World War II period, until a revival in the 1960s, which saw the club win two league championships and an FA Cup. The mid-1980s represented their most recent period of sustained success, with two league championships an FA Cup, and the 1985 European Cup Winners' Cup. The club's most recent major trophy was the 1995 FA Cup. The club's supporters are known as Evertonians. Everton have a rivalry with neighbours Liverpool, and the two sides contest the Merseyside derby. The club has been based at Goodison Park in Walton, Liverpool, since 1892. After moving from Anfield following a row over its rent, the club's home colours are royal blue shirts with white shorts and socks. History Everton were founded as St. Domingo FC in 1878 so that members of the Congregation of St. Domingo Methodist New Connection Chapel in Breckfield Road North, Everton could play sport year-round cricket was played in summer. The club's first game was a 1-0 victory over Everton Church Club. The club was renamed Everton in November 1879 after the local area as people outside the congregation wished to participate. The club was a founding member of the Football League in 1888-89 and won their first league championship title in the 1890-91 season. Everton won the FA Cup for the first time in 1906 and the league championship again in 1914-15. The outbreak of the First World War in 1914 interrupted the football program while Everton were champions, which was something that would again occur in 1939. It was not until 1927 that Everton's first sustained period of success began. In 1925 the club signed Dixie Dean from Tranmere Rovers. In 1927-28, Dean set the record for top-flight league goals in a single season, with 60 goals in 39 league games, which is a record that still stands. He helped Everton win a third league championship that season. However, Everton were relegated to the second division two years later during internal turmoil at the club. The club quickly rebounded and was promoted at the first attempt, while scoring a record number of goals in the second division. On return to the top flight in 1931-32, Everton wasted no time in reaffirming their status and won a fourth league championship at the first opportunity. Everton also won their second FA Cup in 1933 with a 3-0 win against Manchester City in the final. The era ended in 1938-39, with a fifth league championship. The outbreak of the Second World War again saw the suspension of league football, and, when official competition resumed in 1946, the Everton team had been split up and paled in comparison to the pre-war team. Everton were relegated, for the second time in 1950-51 and did not earn promotion until 1953-54 when they finished as runners-up in their third season in the second division. The club have been a top-flight presence ever since. Everton's second successful era started when Harry Catterack was made manager in 1961. In 1962-63, his second season in charge, Everton won the league championship. In 1966 the club won the FA Cup with a 3-2 win over Sheffield Wednesday. Everton again reached the final in 1968, but this time were unable to overcome West Bromwich Albion at Wembley. Two seasons later in 1969-70, Everton won the league championship, finishing nine points clear of nearest rivals Leeds United. During this period, Everton were the first English club to achieve five consecutive years in European competitions covering the seasons from 1961-62 to 1966-67. However, the success did not last. The team finished 14th, 15th, 17th and 7th in the following seasons. Harry Catterack retired, 
but his successors failed to win any silverware. For the remainder of the 1970s despite finishing fourth in 1974-75 under manager Billy Bingham, third in 1977-78, and fourth the following season under manager Gordon Lee. Lee was sacked in 1981. Howard Kendall took over as manager and guided Everton to their most successful era. Domestically, Everton won the FA Cup in 1984 and two league championships in 1984-85 and 1986-87. In Europe, the club won its first, and so far only, European trophy by securing the European Cup Winners' Cup in 1985. The European success came after first beating University College Dublin, Inter Bratislava, and Fortuna Sitar. Then, Everton defeated German giants Bayern Munich 3-1 in the semi-finals, despite trailing at half-time, and recorded the same scoreline over Austrian club Rapid Vienna in the final. Having won both the League and Cup Winners' Cup in 1985, Everton came very close to winning a treble, but lost to Manchester United in the FA Cup final. The following season, 1985-86, Everton were runners-up to neighbours Liverpool in both the League and the FA Cup but did recapture the league championship in 1986-87. After the Hazel Stadium disaster and the subsequent ban of all English clubs from continental football, Everton lost the chance to compete for more European trophies. A large proportion of the title-winning side was broken up following the ban. Kendall himself moved to Athletic Bilbao after the 1987 title triumph, and was succeeded by assistant Colin Harvey. Harvey took Everton to the 1989 FA Cup final, but lost 3-2 after extra time to Liverpool. Everton were founding members of the Premier League in 1992, but struggled to find the right manager. Howard Kendall had returned in 1990, but could not repeat his previous success. His successor, Mike Walker, was statistically the least successful Everton manager to date. When former Everton player Joe Royal took over in 1994, the club's form started to improve. His first game in charge was a 2-0 victory over derby rivals Liverpool. Royal dragged Everton clear of relegation and led the club to the FA Cup for the fifth time in its history by defeating Manchester United 1-0 in the final. The cup triumph was also Everton's passport to the Cup Winners' Cup their first European campaign in the post-Hazel era. Progress under Royal continued in 1995-96 as they climbed to sixth place in the Premiership. A 15th place finish the following season saw Royal resign towards the end of the campaign, and he was temporarily replaced by club captain Dave Watson. Howard Kendall was appointed Everton manager for the third time in 1997, but the appointment proved unsuccessful as Everton finished 17th in the Premiership. The club only avoided relegation due to their superior goal difference over Bolton Wanderers. Former Rangers manager Walter Smith then took over from Kendall in the summer of 1998, but only managed three successive finishes in the bottom half of the table. The Everton board finally ran out of patience with Smith, and he was sacked in March 2002 after an FA Cup exit at Middlesbrough and with Everton in real danger of relegation. His replacement, David Moyes, guided Everton to a safe finish in 15th place. In 2002-03 Everton finished 7th, which was their highest finish since 1996. It was under Moyes' management that Wayne Rooney broke into the first team before being sold to Manchester United, for a club record fee of £28 million in the summer of 2004. A fourth-place finish in 2004-05 ensured that Everton qualified for the UEFA Champions League qualifying round. The team failed to make it through to the Champions League group stage and were then eliminated from the UEFA Cup. Everton qualified for the 2007-08 and 2008-09 UEFA Cup competitions, and they were runners-up in the 2009 FA Cup final. During this period, Moyes broke the club record for highest transfer fee paid on four occasions, signing James Beattie for £6 million in January 2005. Andy Johnson for £8.6 million in summer 2006, Yair Kabu for £11.25 million in summer 2007, and Marwan Fellaini for £15 million in September 2008. At the end of the 2012-13 season, Moyes left his position at Everton to take over at Manchester United. 
he was replaced by Roberto Martinez, who led Everton to fifth place in the Premier League in his first season while amassing the club's best points tally in 27 years with 72. The following season, Martinez led Everton to the last 16 of the 2014-15 UEFA Europa League, where they were defeated by Dynamo Kiev, whilst domestically finishing 11th in the Premier League. Everton reached the semi-finals of both the League Cup and the FA Cup in 2015-16, but were defeated in both. After a poor run of form in the Premier League, Martinez was sacked following the penultimate game of the season, with Everton lying in 12th place. He was replaced in the summer by Ronald Koeman, who left Southampton to sign a three-year contract with Everton. In his first season at the club he guided them back into the group stages of the Europa League, after finishing seventh. A disastrous start to the following season left Everton in the relegation zone after nine games, and Koeman was sacked on 23 October following a 5-2 home defeat to Arsenal. After a five-week period with David Dunsworth acting as caretaker manager, Sam Allardyce was appointed as Everton manager in November 2017. Colours Everton's traditional home colours are royal blue shirts, white shorts and white socks. However, during the first decades of their history, Everton had several different kit colours. The team originally played in white and then blue and white stripes, but as new players arriving at the club wore their old team's shirts during matches, confusion soon ensued. It was decided that the shirts would be dyed black, both to save on expenses and to instill a more professional look. However, the kit appeared morbid, so a scarlet sash was added. When the club moved to Goodison Park in 1892, the colours were salmon pink and dark blue striped shirts with dark blue shorts. The club later switched to ruby shirts with blue trim and dark blue shorts. Royal blue jerseys with white shorts were first used in the 1901-02 season. The club played in sky blue in 1906. However, the fans protested, and the color reverted to royal blue. Occasionally, Everton have played in lighter shades than royal blue. The home kit today is royal blue shirts with white shorts and socks. The club may also wear all blue to avoid any color clashes. The home goalkeeper attire for the 2014-15 season was all yellow. Everton's traditional away colours were white shirts with black shorts, but from 1968 amber shirts and royal blue shorts became common. Various editions appeared throughout the 1970s and 1980s. Recently, black, white, grey and yellow away shirts have been used. The away shirt for the 2011-12 season was reverted to an amber shirt with navy blue shorts. The current away kit is a black shirt with an orange collar, while their third kit is a yellow shirt with blue trim. Crest At the end of the 1937-38 season, Everton's secretary Theo Kelly, who later became the club's first manager, wanted to design a club necktie. It was agreed that the colour be blue, and Kelly was given the task of designing a crest to be featured on the necktie. He worked on it for four months until deciding on a reproduction of Everton lockup which stands in the heart of the Everton district. The lockup has been inextricably linked with the Everton area since its construction in 1787. It was originally used as a bridewell to incarcerate mainly drunks and minor criminals, and it still stands today on Everton Brow. The lockup was accompanied by two laurel wreaths on either side and, according to the College of Arms in London, Kelly chose to include the laurels as they were the sign of winners. The crest was accompanied by the club motto nil satis nisi optimum, meaning, nothing, but the best is good enough. The ties were first worn by Kelly and the Everton chairman, Mr. E. Green, on the first day of the 1938-39 season. The club rarely incorporated a badge of any description on its shirts. An interwoven, EFC, design was adopted between 1922 and 1930 before the club reverted to plain royal blue shirts until 1972 when bold, EFC. Lettering was added. The crest designed by Kelly was first used on the team's shirts in 1978 and has remained there ever since, while undergoing gradual change to become the version used today. In May 2013, the club launched a new crest to improve the reproducibility of the design in print and broadcast media, particularly on a small scale. Critics suggested that it was external pressure from sports manufacturer Nike. Incorporated that evoked the redesign as the number of colors had been reduced and the radial effect was removed, which made the kit more cost-efficient. 
to reproduce. The redesign was poorly received by supporters, with a poll on an Everton fan site registering a 91% negative response to the crest. A protest petition reached over 22,000 signatures before the club offered an apology and announced a new crest would be created for the 2014-15 season with an emphasis on fan consultation. Shortly afterwards, the head of marketing left the club. The latest crest was revealed by the club on 3 October 2013. After a consultation process with the supporters, three new crests were shortlisted. In the final vote, the new crest was chosen by almost 80% of the supporters that took part and began being used in July 2014. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?